The most colossal accepted flood in the world was when the Strait of Gibraltar catastrophically broke open. The geologic evidence of this is breccia being found in the Mediterranean. And the erosional evidence of this is the U-shaped channel of the strait, which was carved by rapid high-discharge water flow. But then if you search if a U-shaped valley is characteristic of rapid high-discharge water flow, Google contradicts itself and says that rivers can only make V-shaped valleys, and only a glacier is capable of making a U-shaped valley. There is so much observational evidence to support that water can in fact make U-shaped valleys, that this widespread misunderstanding becomes quite ridiculous. My favorite example of this is in southern Utah, near the small town of Mexican Hat. Here there is an abandoned oxbow from the San Juan River. This channel, which is 0.4 miles wide, has a perfect U-shaped cross-section. Of course this wasn't made by a glacier because it has a sharp 360 degree turn and is right next to a river that has many other oxbow meanders. This is a great example of rapid high discharge water flow making a U-shaped valley. Exactly like what is seen as the erosional evidence of the Zanklian flood. But it is taboo to consider that rivers can make U-shaped valleys because it changes the realm of possibilities to interpret many landscapes. In Scotland, the parallel roads of Glen Roy would be easily interpreted as river terraces instead of glacial lake shorelines. Shorelines are berms made by small wave action. But these roads are a series of flat terrace steps which is much more consistent with river terraces and requires a flowing river current to plane them flat. The river terraces of its tributary can be traced all the way up to the terraces of the U-shaped valley of Glen Roy. There is zero evidence of a moraine from the glacier that supposedly dammed up this lake. And they underestimate water's ability to find weak points in ice when confined at such immense pressure. But the real problem arises when you find that low latitude areas are full of U-shaped valleys. And many of these channels are carved in strata that is much younger than the time proposed for the snowball earth events, which was 2.2 billion, 700 million, and 600 million years ago.